Right now we're going to do a little bit of a fire experiment. We're actually going to make water from fire. So we're getting some kind of fuel. We're just going to use rubbing alcohol. And what's great about rubbing alcohol is that you can actually take a little bit and rub it on the kids and blow it. And they'll feel it evaporate. They've smelled it before in the doctor's office. We're going to use this as our fuel. And then we're going to use our match and a stick to light it in a bottle and show them that we can make water from fire. So take your fuel. We're going to put it into our bottle and we're going to shake it around so that it covers the inside of the bottle and dump it out. Then we're going to talk to them about what they know about fuel or fire. And we like to take a minute to go over the fire triangle. Heat, oxygen, and fuel are what is necessary for fire to occur. And in this case, we're going to provide the fuel, the heat, and the ambient air for the oxygen. And then, what's going on in our bodies is very similar to that chemical reaction. Grab a snack, chew it up. There's your fuel, breathe in some oxygen. And what do you breathe out? Carbon dioxide and water. And then the plants take in the carbon dioxide and the water. They mix it up in their green leaves and put out oxygen and fuel. Let's prove that we're actually going to make carbon dioxide and water from this chemical reaction. Dump out all the fuel that's liquid, and then we're left with alcohol vapor. Get a long coffee stirring stick and your match. And we're going to light our stick, and that would be for safety to have a long stick. No liquid in here. I'm going to hold it over the side, maybe give it a little squeeze. Whoa, blow out the stick. Now we're going to show them that we have water left over and carbon dioxide gas. Hold out your hand or get a student's hand, and lo and behold, we made water from fire.